through us all things. For who will bring any charge against those, those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who is the one that condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is interceding for us. So who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? For as it is written, we seek, for your sake we face death all day long. We're considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Know in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that's in Christ Jesus our Lord. And finally, from 2 Timothy, Bobby can say this, For I know who I have believed, and I am convinced that He is able to guard what I have entrusted to Him until that day. So, Father, we come before your throne tonight in celebration of a life, a precious son who's gone before us into a place of glory. Lord, we love our brother, our grandfather, our husband, a caring man, a friend. Lord, we offer to you tonight's service for your presence to comfort the family, to strengthen the friends, encourage us with Bobby's life as we know it's celebrated with you now. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to
trust Him more. My family and I uh, first want to thank you for being here and sharing a celebration of uh, Bobby or JB or Happy or whoever you knew him as. Um, I know uh, we didn't get to spend a lot of time with you guys here in our church family in North Carolina, but uh, I know some of you did get to spend some time with them, and uh, I just uh, really appreciate you uh, reaching out to them as you moved here and, and was uh, struggling through an illness with Alzheimer's and some of his other uh, health problems he was fighting off. He by uh, reading some things that we remember and uh, some of the good times, some of our fond memories of them. And so um, I'm going to invite whoever wants to come up first. You want to come up? Okay. This is a letter I wrote to Uncle Bobby. I will always remember all the fun times we had. You were a good sport at everything and showed your love to my children and myself, which really warms my heart. You accepted my kids as if they were your own, and I will truly treasure that, and so will they. We chuckled a lot at your quirky sayings, and only you knew what they really meant. <laughs> we had a lot of good times at our family dinners and holidays, and we'll always remember what a great cook you were. My favorites were your ribs, or actually anything you cooked on the grill, and your spaghetti and meatballs. Your sauce was the best. I'll always remember driving up and down Route 42 looking for the glass house restaurant that you liked. Finally figured out it was the Cleveland Draft House. I got up, Pat. <laughs> So we call it that now and always will, thanks to you. I really enjoyed taking you to all of your doctor's appointments. It gave us the chance to spend a lot of time together. It did my heart good to be able to help you in any way I could. I am very thankful for the time I have known you. You will stay in my heart forever. Love, your favorite sister-in-law. <laughs> This is from Morgan. I know you didn't want me to say it was from you right off the bat, but when I say this first sentence, it's definitely from you. As Uncle Bobby's girlfriend, I could say he was really one of the most caring individuals I knew. He was always interested in what you had to share and offered funny comments and insightful words. Whenever we would come to visit him with Aunt Tootie in Maryland, his first question would always be, are you engaged yet? As soon as he met my boyfriend, Tyler, he always acted jealous. After about a month, he asked my mother, is that boy still following Morgan around? <laughs> Even though he acted jealous, you could tell he really did like Tyler. I could not imagine him truly not liking someone, though. My all-time favorite memory of Uncle Bobby would have to be at the 4th of July party last year. Uncle Bobby and I went to get our food and I carried his plate around and arranged his food for him. His own personal waitress in a way. I'm not exactly sure why I adore that memory so much, but I think it has to do with the fact that we were bonding and with food nonetheless. <laughs> Nothing is really better than bonding while eating. He was the cutest elderly man in the world. He will be greatly. He will be missed greatly. Love, Morgan. Morris Evan, you might as well. Do your son, okay? I know we all have our memories with Uncle Bobby, and some of mine were 
riding the golf cart in Sandy Bottom Road and going to Walmart with Home Depot with him. And I know he's happy there, but he's definitely happier in heaven now. And we all love him and we'll remember him in our hearts. Jake Wenzel. <laughs> I really love my Peppy and I really miss him. One of my favorite things about him was that he was really... <laughs> it was really funny. Whether he was being sarcastic or whether he was showing off his sweet dance moves. <laughs> this past Monday, um, I went out to go get the mail and my neighbor was doing his daily running routine. And when he passed by, he said, hey, bud. That was Pappy's favorite thing to say to us. The way he said it sounded just like Pappy, so I started crying up on my mailbox looking like a complete idiot. <laughs> he just kept running and went way back afterwards. Pappy always was in his shed listening to old music or watching American Pickers or some TV show like it. One of the other things I liked about Pappy was his cooking. He likes bacon cakes and desserts. Um... This year, he, he let me have his boots to go hunting, so when I came over to his house, he said, what are you going to shoot, referring to what type of gun I was going to use. I said, deer. Then he said, well, are you going to throw rocks at it? <laughs> he was one of the best grandpas in the world. He was such a sarcastic guy at times, and he was always a good guy to be with. Him. I really miss him, and he's probably up in heaven, hanging out with God, having running races with him. I could go on and on about how awesome he was, but... There are other people waiting to say about something about how really cool he is. I love you, Peppy. I really miss you. <laughs> <laughs>